In the Roman Catholic Church, Sundays are a day of rest, but for Lima Central Catholic and St. John's, it's also a great day for some basketball. St. John's defended the Vatican a year ago, snapping a seven game losing streak to LCC. First quarter, St. John's drawing first blood. Connor Hulhan starting the scoring affair with a triple, and the Blue Jays kept flying. This time, their big man, Grant Sucker, strokes one down. St. John's with the early lead, but LCC comes right back at him. Mark Janowski with a slick pass to Dominic Rippinoff. T Birds trail by five at the end of the first. As we start the second, it's Matthew Sakala pulling up from the corner. LCC ties the ball game at 14s, and then they take the lead behind the hands of Rossi Moore. The freshman making an impact off the bench and the T-Birds in the half strong. Sakala off the steal, misses the layup, but Moore is there for the put back buzzer beater. LCC leads 19 to 17 at the break. Third quarter, Thunderbirds staying hot with some good ball movement. Janowski converts, they lead by one point. St. John's punching right back though. Colin Will flying right to the hoop. Tie ball game at 28 apiece. In the fourth quarter, the Blue Jays start to pull away. Jared Wurst with a beautiful move in the paint. St. John's up 33 to 28, but LCC wasn't done quite yet. Janowski's quick bucket brings the T-Birds within three, and now they need a triple to tie this up. Moore just off the mark. The big man pulls down the rebound, finds the line, and throws up a prayer. It's answered, and this game is headed to overtime. The extra frame quickly becoming about the backdoor cut. St. John's striking first as well gets it to fall. Then Janowski feeds drawn banks for LCC, tied up again, and Houlihan finds worst underneath, 39-37 in favor of the Roadbirds. But Janowski comes up clutch again. With under 10 to go, he uses his 6 foot 8 inch frame to his advantage. Let's settle this in double overtime. LCC striking first, Banks clutching his shot as it falls, homebirds by 2, then it's Will attacking the rack once more. The athletic finish falls, it's tied at 43s. Under 7 seconds to go, Will doesn't have a look, but Houlihan does. He lets it fly and bottoms. St. John's takes a 2 point lead. LCC does have a chance with 4 seconds to go. Moore steps back and he's just off the the mark. St. John's wins the Holy War 48 to 46 in double overtime, marking win number 1,499 for the program. 11 years ago, uh, we went triple overtime um, and we hit one right at the buzzer on a long full court pass. Um, I told guys this today was about just as draining a, a, as that was. And Connor got us going. You know, he made you know, the first six or eight points right out of the gate, and then that was his next buck. He hadn't scored for uh, you know several minutes, but credit to him being confident. It was a great team effort. We grinded out for two overtimes. That's that's a lot of work. In the end, we grinded it out, and we were the better team in the end. We're trying to get to 1500 as soon as possible, and it would have been really exciting to get it today with this big rivalry that we have. But with it being 1499, hopefully this just gives us more energy to keep winning and get over the 1500 mark and just keep fighting, keep winning, keep going. Sticking to basketball, our latest basement doctor play of the week isn't just a singular play, but rather a performance by Pandora Gilboa's Drew Johnson. The senior Rocket needed five points to become PG's all-time leading scorer, surpassing Josh Lee, who is an assistant coach on the team. First quarter, Johnson heading right to the rack. He only needs three more to become the all-time leading scorer, and a few possessions later, he grabs all three of them. Drew Johnson breaks the all-time record of 1,228 points and becomes the new school scoring leader. The score to beat is now 1,237 and will continue to grow this season. College basketball number one Michigan State travels to Ohio State. First half, Buckeyes finding their rhythm early. Kata Bates Diop knocks down the rainbow. That marks an 11-0 run for the Buckeyes. Late in the half, Andrew Dacic ahead to KBD. The junior slams at home. Buckeyes up by two. And here's the big momentum builder. To end the half, it's Dacic from Ashtabula. The bank is open on a Sunday. Ohio State ends the half on a 12-0 run. Riding that momentum into the second half. The Buckeyes still feeling it. Caleb Weston to a cut in Cam Williams. Buckeyes lead 43 to 29. Minutes later, CJ Jackson gets in on the fun. The triple try is true. Ohio State by 21, and they never let go. Bates Diop had himself a night as he drops a career high 32 points. He adds on seven rebounds with that. Ohio State upsets the number one team in the nation, 80 to 64. The first time they've beaten a number one team since 2007 against Wisconsin. Welcome back. As we know, Cleveland, Detroit, and Cincinnati all failed to make the playoffs. But the Bengals did help Buffalo make their first postseason appearance since 1999 with their big win against the Ravens. As we move to Jacksonville, Florida, the Bills up against the Jaguars. Not too much action in the first half, so we start in the third. Blake Bortles fakes the handoff and finds Ben Koyak in the end zone. The Notre Dame grab gives Jacksonville a 10-3 lead. Bills have a chance late in the fourth. Tyrod Taylor has plenty of time, but the Jaguars' defense is nothing to mess with, forcing Taylor to scramble, and he gets slammed by Dante Fowler Jr. On the replay, you see Taylor's head
head, skipping off the ground, so he has to be taken out. And in comes Nathan Peterman, a tough situation for a backup quarterback to be in. And it doesn't get any better for Buffalo. Jalen Ramsey steals the deal for the Jaguars with an interception. The Jags' first playoff win since 2007. They'll play Pittsburgh on Sunday. More wild card action. The Saints and the Panthers battling for the last playoff spot. Late in the first, Drew Brees with some time, and we have a Big Ten connection for the first touchdown of the game. My alma mater, Purdue, to Ohio State. The former Carolina Panther puts the Saints on top 7-0. We go into the fourth. Alvin Kamara punches one in from two yards out. Saints take this ball game 31-19. Panthers coming at him, though. Cam Newton hits the rookie sensation, Christian McCaffrey. He has the seam, and no one's going to catch him. Panthers only trail by five, and they're going to have a chance to win this ball game. Facing a tough fourth and 23 with 11 seconds to go. Newton under a ton of pressure, and Von Bell sacks him. Saints go on to win, and Von Bell is actually a Buckeye grad. All right. Go Buckeyes. Thanks, John. We'll be right back.